Nice Hi. to see you again. Good to see you. How are you doing today? Yeah, it's good. Good. Okay, so I heard that you were having some ear pain. Can you tell me about that? Yes, it's uh, just uh, two weeks ago. I, I feel my is left ear is uh, like full, mm -hmm. and also I hear is uh, like a ringing sound. Okay, so mm. it feels full, and there's some ringing sounds. Yeah. Just in the left ear? Anything yeah, just in the right left ear? one. Okay. Um, so it started two weeks ago. Yeah. Did you experience any illness, like a cold or flu, the, in the last few months? No. Okay, so no cold or flu. And um, has your symptoms been the same since two weeks ago? Mm. Yes. Okay. Does the pain radiate anywhere, for example, to your jaw or no, to No, not your other place, just, just the ear. Just the ear. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever had these symptoms before? Mm, I don't remember. Me. Okay. Okay. So out of from one to ten, one being the least pain you ever felt, ten being the most pain you ever felt, how would you describe the pain? I think it's about three. Okay. And how does the pain feel? Is it dull or throbbing or sharp or maybe pressure? Just pressure. Like pressure kind yeah. of feeling. Okay. Now does the pain get worse with anything? Does it feel worse? No. No, okay. Does anything make the pain better? No. Okay. So no relieving factors. Do you have any other symptoms such as neck pain, jaw pain, or tooth pain? No. Do you, do you see any discharge coming out of the ear? No. Have you lost any weight? Mm, a little bit. Were you exercising? Uh, yes, exercise. Yeah. Okay, so it's due to exercise. Okay. Um, have you had any hearing loss? Like trouble hearing? No. No trouble hearing. Does your left ear feel itchy at all? A little bit. A little bit itchy? Mm -hmm. And you said there was some ringing sounds, okay. Have you been traveling recently? No. No traveling, so probably not due to bear trauma. Have you been swimming? No. No swimming. 
Has anyone or anything hit the ear? No. Okay. Do you use any Q-tips to clean your ear? Yes, sometimes I use it. Okay. When do you use them? Me, when after shower, I use it. Okay. Do you go inside the ear? No, just general, okay. normal using. Okay, so you don't go inside, just normal usage on the outside? No. Okay. Um, any changes to your medical history? I have it right here. You have a history of low um, high blood pressure. Mm. Um, anything else? High no. cholesterol and no. any changes in your family history? No. Um, any changes to your medication? No. Are you drinking any alcohol? Sometimes. How often? Uh, about to one week, one times. How many glasses? No, one glass. Okay, one glass. Uh, do you smoke? No. Uh, do you take any recreational drugs? No. Okay. Right. So I have a checklist here for our uh, physical exams. Okay. We will start with vitals, like mm. usual. Mm. Put this under your tongue. Close. I'm just going to take your heart rate mm -hmm. and respiration. Okay, so 36.73, very normal, no fever. Just break this down. Heart rate is 60 beats per minute. Respiration rate is 17 breaths per minute. Please raise your hand and pump your fist ten times.
135 over 75. Mm -hmm. So it's still slightly high. Okay. So pull on a pair of gloves and start inspecting your ears. Okay. So keep my checklist with me. Hmm. I'm going to start with this ear over here. Right okay. Here. And I'm just going to start by inspecting mm -hmm. the oracle. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking for any signs of um, deformities or keloids, um, any eczema, dermatitis, seborrheic dermatitis. Okay, I'm also looking behind here and um, feeling the mastoid process to see if there's any bogginess or squishiness. And there is none. It's very good. I'm also going to just um, pull on the pinna. Let me know mm. if you feel any pain. Mm. Any pain? No. Okay. And I'm just going to push on the tragus. Do you feel any pain? No. Okay. okay. Let me go ahead and try the other side. Mm. So again, just inspecting the oracle for any... Um, or keloids, any dermatitis or anything like that. Inspecting the mastoid process. No squishiness or bogginess. No pain here, right? No. Any pain? No pain. Okay. And then I'm just going to pull on your pinna. Any pain here? No. Okay. And then your tragus. Any pain here? No. Okay, very right, good. I'm going to be palpating our lymph nodes now. So let's start with the preauricular lymph nodes, mm -hmm. which are just right here. Let me know if you feel any pain or tenderness. No. Okay. And then postauricular, do you feel any pain or tenderness? No. And then I'm going to feel your um, interior cervical and see if there's any enlargement or swelling. Just don't feel. Try the posterior chain. No. Okay, I'm just gonna go a little bit deeper. Just gonna move your head like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. didn't notice any enlargements of your lymph nodes and um, there wasn't any swelling there wasn't any pain or tenderness mm. okay very good um, now I'm going to inspect and palpate your TMJ so mm. now I'm just going to have you open up your mouth uh, mm -hmm. close your mouth okay open up your mouth Close your mouth. Open up your mouth. Just listening for any popping, clicking, or grinding. I don't mm. feel any of that. Did you feel any pain when I did that? No. Okay. Mm. Now I'm going to do your intraotic manipulation. Mm. I'm just pulling any pain. No. Okay. Um, no. Okay. Good. So I'm going to check your cranial nerve 5. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have you clench your teeth like this. Very good. 
relax, clench your teeth again. Very good. Okay, so motor wise, it's very good. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to check your light touch and your mm -hmm. pain sensation. Okay. I'm just going to use this and um, break that. So you're going to feel um, like this. Mm -hmm. This is dull. Mm -hmm. And this is pain. Mm. Okay? Okay. So you're going to tell me. You're going to tell me if you feel um, dull or pain. Or dull or sharp. Just say dull or sharp, okay? I want you to close your eyes and you're going to point mm -hmm. where I um, touched you and whether it's dull or sharp, okay? So. Dull. Where is it? Okay. Good. Keep your eyes closed. Here. Okay. Where? Here. Good. Dull. This way. Very good. This is pain. Very good. Dull. That way. Very good. Dull here. Very good. This pain here. Perfect. Cranial okay, nerve 5 is working well. Mm -hmm. Sensory and motor function are both intact. Next, I'm going to check your eyes. So I want you to just look up for me. Mm. I'm just looking at your conjunctiva, seeing if there's any redness. Can you look down? Okay, palpebral conjunctiva is nice and pink, no redness. Very good. Next, I'm going to check your nasal mucosa. Mm. So I'm just going to do this and take a look inside, looking for any erythema, any discharge. Okay, I'm going to close one side, can you breathe out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Close the other side, can you breathe out? Yeah. Very good. Last thing, I'm going to check your sinuses. So um, I'm just going to palpate mm -hmm. the frontal sinuses. Any pain? No. Any pain? No. Any pain? No. Okay. Over here. Any pain here? No. Any pain? No. Any pain? No. Okay, very good. All right, so far so good. I'm going to be doing a hearing test on you. Okay. So first I'm going to whisper um, a word on each side and you're going to tell me what you hear, okay? Mm. So I'm going to whisper a ear here first. Mm. Yeah. So I'm just going to close this. Okay. Tingles. Tingles. Good. And then I'm going to whisper here. Mm, plastic. Okay, that one's yeah. a little bit more difficult. Mm. Okay. okay. So next I'm going to do the Weber test. I'm going to strike the tuning fork. Mm. Place it on the top of your skull and you let me know which side you hear it first, okay? okay. Which side? Left side. Interesting, okay. So now I'm going to do the Renee test and mm. I'm going to strike the tuning fork, mm. place it on your mastoid process, and then bring it forward. I'm just going to ask you questions and answer them, okay? Okay. So let's start on this side. One second. Do you hear it? Yes. Okay, let me know when you stop hearing it. Stop. Do you hear it? Yes, I can hear it. Let me know when you stop hearing it. Close your eyes. 
just uh, good. Now I'm going to come on your affected ear and do the same thing. Okay, keep your eyes closed. Mm. Do you hear it? Not. Yeah, it's it's hard to hear. Okay. Do you hear it now? A little bit I can hear now. Okay. But not so, so weak. Okay, so. Okay, let me write that down. Some trouble with air conduction. Um, okay, I think I have an idea of what this might, might be. Um, your bone conduction seems to be better than your air conduction when it comes mm. to hearing, so it, it's um, it's probably more of a conductive hearing loss rather than a mm. senso -ne sensor neural hearing mm. loss. Mm. So um, I'm just going to do a few more tests, okay? Mm. I'm going to look, look inside your ear. Okay. Start on this side. Mm. Start by just looking at the. Oh, sorry, I forgot to put an otoscope to this. Okay. Good. Let me know if you feel any pain. Mm. Just going to start by looking at the external ear canal, looking for any um, foreign body. Any vesicles? Any discharge? I don't see any. Um, and serum and wax? No? Okay, I'm just gonna go a little bit deeper. Okay. Alright, so I see that there's no redness of the ear canal. And as I go deeper, I don't see any. Um, Serum and wax build up, and I can see the cone of light very clearly. Pars vasa, pars tensa are visible. Vasculature is not abnormal, and um, I can see the short process in the handle of the um, malleus. I don't see any effusion or cysts behind the tympanic membrane and no ruptures. Okay, very good. Any pain? No. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to take a look at your effect here. Mm, okay. This might be painful, so mm. just let me know, alright? Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at your external ear canal. Um, again, I don't see any eczema, vesicles, any redness here, any discharge. So let's go a little bit deeper. Okay. Alright, so it's um, a little bit red in here. And I actually do see quite a bit of serum and wax. Um, it seems to be obstructing my view, so I can't really visualize the tympanic membrane. Um, is that painful? Yeah. Okay. So I do see... Alright. Let me take this out slowly. So it does seem like you have some serum and wax buildup mm -hmm. in your ear. So I have to do a little bit of cleaning, okay? Okay. So I just grab another pair of gloves. Grab 
a bottle of alcohol. Be right back. Now, cotton swabs and Q-tips. Mm -hmm. yeah. Make sure you don't go anywhere inside the ear canal. Mm -hmm. You only want to stay on the external ear, okay. okay? So I'm just cleaning on the external side any wax buildup that's here. And we'll keep cleaning as we get the wax out. Now I'm going to use a curette, and um, this is only a tool that a professional like me should use, and don't ever try to use it at home, okay? So I'm just going to use it to clean inside um, the external air canal. There's still a little bit in there. Mm. Um, this is going to feel a bit uncomfortable, okay? Mm. And I can also send you home with a um, little irrigation kit mm -hmm. to use at home when you have wax buildup, but the best thing to do is just to come in and see me. So I'll make sure not to um, hurt your eardrum. So, yeah, it's a lot clearer, but, um, it's just a little bit more wax on the top of the ear canal. Let me just get mm. that out as well. It's just the top Everything. Just take another look. Okay, very good. So it's it's clear now. Um, 
How, how does that feel for you? Does it feel better? Does it feel less full? Mm, yes, less full. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. I'm glad. Just take a closer look inside. Um, yes, there does seem to be a little bit of redness in there. Um, I do see the cone of light pretty well, as well as the bony landmarks, like the, um, the malleus. And I see the pars flas. The pars flacida seems to be a little bit more vascularized. I wonder why. Okay. Have you had ear infections in this year before? Yeah, I think this is before it's a long time ago. Okay. Yeah. Many times or like? Not so many times. Just like uh, one last year, maybe. I don't know. Last it's clear. year? Yeah. Okay. This year definitely looks like it's had some otitis media in the past, like acute otitis media. Mm -hmm. um, and I can see like it's a little bit cloudy behind the membrane, mm -hmm. but not a lot. It's not bulging by any means. So um, I would say that most likely your pain just came from the serum and wax. Mm -hmm. So see how that feels and let me know. Okay. Um, maybe like in two weeks follow up, let me know if you still feel mm -hmm. the pain or ringing. If that's the case, then we'll have to do a, a closer examination, okay. maybe refer you out to a specialist, okay? Okay. Alright. Just write down a few things. Just this history of acute this media and some inflammation um, in the pars flaccida area of the tympanic membrane. Okay. But it doesn't seem like there's any active infection. Okay, and I've also removed quite a bit of serum and wax as well, which hopefully will help with all your symptoms. Yeah, so just keep me posted in two weeks' time, and we'll okay. have a follow-up and check it again. If we need to, we can um, refer you to a specialist. Okay? Okay. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, thank you. Have a great yes, day. Sir.